impressed that you're here and you have your wits about you because you just you flew in from Australia. You went today, right? I did, yeah. I got in from Australia this morning. And because they're... Uh, well, it slightly baffles me. They're 18 hours ahead. So I arrived four hours before I left. And, yeah, it's true. It's true. That's, well, that's what happens. And then you fill in the wrong date on the, on the form you have to sign when you come in. <laughs> so, so then you get sent to the back of the line because you, you said it was tomorrow when, in fact, it was yesterday. Oh, they send you to the back of the line. Yeah, well, it's just because you're, you're wasting their time. The, the numbers are wrong. Well, the president has some tough new immigration laws, exactly. so... <laughs> if you well, make a mistake, you go right back exactly, to the end of the line. Exactly. You come from Australia, it's like being in your own sci-fi film. Uh, is it really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, did you like Australia? I love Australia. Had you been there before? I was there many, many years ago and uh, as, a, as a young actor and, uh, and, and made lots of great friends. And so it was, it was terrific uh, to be back there. It's the one place in the world where uh, they call me Kenny. Everybody calls me Kenny. Do they really? They do, yeah, yeah, yeah. They know you're a sir, right? They call you Kenny? But they say Kenny, mate. They say Kenny. And they, somebody said to me, Kenny, if you want to speak Australian, you either put an E on the end, like we do with you, Kenny, or you put an O on the end, which they do with you, so you'd be Jimmo. I would be Jimmo. Jimmo. Really? Jimmo Kimmelo. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> so if there's already, like, an E sound at the end of your name, you get an O. Yeah. Otherwise, you get an E. I guess there's an EO at times, you know. Uh, wow. But, uh, so, wow, that's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how about that? I, nobody called me Jimmo. But I didn't know anybody when I was over there. So I think it's more fun to go someplace when there are people you know there and you can stay with. How long were you there? I was there for a couple of weeks. We met uh, a lot of friends and a lot of kangaroos. Did you meet kangaroos while you were I there? didn't meet any kangaroos, but I went to the zoo and saw some yeah. kangaroos. You saw some in the wild? Oh, yeah. Lots I wouldn't of... like that. I don't like... Um, yeah. I like animals to be contained yeah. in a very <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, secure yeah. thing. And These then I'm impressive. fine with it. I feel like a lot of them have been to the gym. You know, they have a lot of upper body strength. They do. They have a lot of upper body strength. I think they're very, very cross about having short arms. And so, <laughs> and so they overcompensate. Everything's a little out of whack. It's very useful for being a kangaroo, but it's a bit annoying when you compare yourself with other beings. And so they've got the big, enormous legs, and then they have to use the tripod tail as well, which is slightly irritating for them. Anyway, they come across pretty surly. Did any of them menace you? Surly. Were they coming up to you? They gave me some rough looks, Jimmy. They did? <laughs> really, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, there's also a creature called a wallaroo, which is a smaller version of a kangaroo, and the male has very, very dark fur, and it's very scary. I think there's going to be... There's easily going to be a new horror film called Wallaroo. Wallaroo? Huh? wallaroo. Is that the part yeah. wallaby and part kangaroo? I think so. But, and part monster was what I felt. It's a weird thing, kangaroos. Like, they seem... It seems like they're the only animal that really punches humans. Uh, yeah, and, and in fact, I, I, way back, I had to do a fight with a, a one-armed, one-eyed one kangaroo. Um, <laughs> well, not so much a fight, more, more a sort of a, a sort of a grapple, like a mild grapple. But nevertheless, they're, they're scary individuals to be close. Uh, was it a trained to. animal? It, or? it was a, a, a trained, but rather bored working with me. I um, see. Yeah. The other thing I discovered, uh, do you find this disturbing? I did. Yes, that, whatever that, it is, yes. Yeah, that, <laughs> inside, that, like, inside the pouch, which you imagine to be full of the most charming kind of, you know, sort of Walt Disney kind of warmth for the little Joey. It's actually like the inside of a mouth. So it's all salivary. And, you know, all those dreams you had as a kid of being in there with the little Joey and it was always such fun, you know, because Mummy would look after you, it'll all be fine. You don't want to be in there. How you intensely don't... were you grappling with this animal <laughs> that you know that? Did you, did you have relations with a kangaroo? I got too <laughs> close to that, to that <laughs> pouch is all I can say. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.